So I just want to share a quick story with you. One time I was giving a talk about what it takes to start a movement for social good, which is one of the things that I'm most passionate about. And I spoke about the importance of following your heart and being proactive on what you hear. Basically, it's the same kind of stuff I talk about in these videos and on the podcast that I host called At the End of the Tunnel. Following hunches, tapping into intuition, taking leaps of faith, you know, that kind of thing. And what you find is that the people who are more science-minded, they don't really like to hear all this stuff about following your heart because it can't be easily measured in a conventional sense. So anyway, after my talk, I did a Q&A and this guy in the audience kind of heckled me. He said, isn't there an element of naivete in what you're suggesting with all this following your heart stuff? And I said, yes, absolutely there is. I said, a part of you must be naive in order to do what you're here to do. Because if you're always being realistic about what you think is possible, then it's too easy to talk yourself out of even trying. So a bit of naivete needs to be a part of the plan. And I'll say the same thing to you. If you're living your purpose and somebody calls you naive for not knowing exactly what you're doing or how it's all gonna turn out, or they say that your goal is unrealistic because no one else has been able to pull it off, I say that's a badge of honor, right? I say that's, that you're right where you want to be because all of the greats have been in that exact same place. When Joseph Campbell coined the term, the hero's journey, he said, look, if you can see your path clearly laid out in front of you step by step, then you know that's not your path. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I add new videos daily, so make sure you click to subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you want to see the next insight, just click on over to the right. You can also follow me on Instagram at Light Watkins, and I look forward to seeing you next time.